Hey guys, Button25 here, playing your sex once again today. We're flying Elephant 737 from Bangkok to Phnom Penh. Okay, top down view. Get pushing back. Taxi. Turning left. Right turn. Yeah, it's raining quite heavily. Turning right, sure say. Approaching two, one, right. We make a left, a right turn now. Take off power set. On runway, two, one, right. So the first video and see you guys we're gonna approach into Phnom I how do you what's it called? Phnom Pen. So you guys see ya then. Runway 2, 3, approach, maintain 2,000 until established on the localizer. Contact Phnom Penh Tower on 118.0. Turn right, heading 2, 0. Phnom Penh Tower, lift on 
Sunset Lima Hotel 165 is 22 miles northeast inbound ILS runway 23 approach Lufthansa Lima Hotel 165 South 10 Tower fly straight in runway 23 altimeter 2991 make straight in runway 23 Lufthansa Lima Hotel 165 we don't need the spoils, the aircraft will slow down by itself, really. Let's go straight to full flaps. And up here. I can't see the airport anywhere. The thing is, I can see it kind of there on the map. So that's fine. Say it's that kind of strangely coloured splodge. Go back to two hundred. this time before. What country am I even in? I don't know. Give me an airport, I fly to it. I thought I'd be on the Agony Plus 747. So I was expecting. There's the airports and then we'll continue flying in this direction and then line up and go. And everything will be nice and cushy.
not too low. So you can't get seen in air traffic view at A321. Yep, that's him. He's at uh, Phnom Penh. Oh, I'm never going to be able to pronounce that properly. Phnom Penh. Yes. Okay, so the other part. That is the wonkiest looking bridge I've ever seen in the most pointless. But you start off there, you go across the one angle, and you keep a, the bridge going just parallel to the coast. Why? Wisconsin, Lehman Hotel, 165, clear to land, runway 23. Clear to land, runway 23, Lufthansa, Lima Hotel, 165. You know, Lingus used to operate these aircrafts. You'll know that if you watch my video or flew one from Waterford to Donegal. Honestly, I don't understand why Aer Lingus doesn't operate like even just an infrequent flight from Waterford to uh, Dublin. It's an ATR. It's I'm pretty sure it would make money. Because now like everyone in this kind of area they need to, f if they want to fly to Dublin, they'd fly to, uh, they'd drive several hours to Cork, and if they had Waterford as an option, I'm pretty sure they would choose it. Or perhaps even use, like, an ATR on a flight train to Luton or something. If not into Heathrow, I'd say there would be no point flying into Heathrow. Yeah, doing flights to... to the UK from Morford would fill seats. There's no doubt about it as well, you know, as long as they weren't charging too much in which case yeah it's not in which case people wouldn't buy. Approaching two three put in simply. You can see we've got the old thing at the end of the room that like, allows the aircraft to turn around. There's the A321. It's that thrust idle. And nose down, spoil out. Like that. Fire. Nice. We did bounce a bit there. sure this wouldn't be a passenger seat, so keep thinking these, like, I think these tours are kind of like publicity fly.
Don't mind me. Don't mind the fact I'm not in my way. One one eight point zero. Lift onto Lima Hotel. One six five. And flaps. Little parking. I'll shut it down. Little flaps are a truck. Ah, flaps are too. Well, they should be. Yeah, we'll just pack straight out. And three, two, one, and parking brake set. Oh, I keep forgetting this is one of those aircraft that rolls a bit after parking brake. Most of the aircraft that I have in FSX don't. Yeah, that was a flight from Bangkok, Thailand to Phnom Penh. Rule of Thumb is seven three seven nine five hundred. Twenty five. Goodbye.